Hey you guys, how you guys doing? I'm doing this video. I have been, been here that much you guys but I've been doing something on the side to earn extra income and I do have another YouTube channel and it's called BB and Dean. Just me and my spouse earning extra income and I want that's why you haven't been seeing me on this channel much but I wanted to talk about medical billing and coding. This video is going to be very short and sweet. I'm going to show you what books you can expect to have in medical billing and coding. I took this class um, on online and the book that I received that I received when I was taking this course was this um, with this book. Hold on, let me um, okay. It was H c p c s level two expert book is very um good i didn't really use this book that much which is very interesting but it tells you like a, the drug names the dosage um and and the codes for the drugs and additional names and it give you a lot of things in this book okay so I also had another book, um, the CPT um, book, Current Procedure Terminology. This book, you're going to use a lot, okay? This book. I use this book a lot, a lot, okay? I love this. I'm so good at navigating through this book because it helps you to code your um diagnostic your diagnostics and it gives you explanation. It shows you pictures to all my picture lovers in the books. It's awesome. Um and I believe on YouTube they will show you hold on. There's a video that I had with the court with the teacher that she gave us, but I didn't never looked at it until after. This is a channel on YouTube um, where they will show you how to put these stickers on each page so you can find your item, your procedures easy. Okay, so this page is very useful. You can find it in YouTube, and someone help you on how to label your book to find your things faster and so um well when i was coding a year ago i had to i was using also the icd9 um cm volume one and two this is you get this book also um it's color coded uh, with symbols and it's it's everything you're gonna use this book also you see color coded and everything so you need that also with the CPT book. These books are heavy, you guys. Not even funny. And then it been upgraded also. Some some hospitals, some clinics use 2015 also. And then some people haven't. Some of them haven't been updated, so you will need that book. And if the ones that's updated, you will need the um, ICD-10 CM book, 2016, the official code book. It's a new one for 2016. I have guidelines, I got pictures inside of it, explanations, your codes, everything, okay? Everything is in here. And this one, I have this book, also 321 coded. Um, this is the workbook. And the other book, I don't have it with me right now, but the other book, the the, the textbooks explain to you a lot about coding every explanation that you need to know it will tell you everything and it's a workbook so you can um get good at what you're um coding so it was awesome so they're very big and heavy <laughs> so that's it for fifth edition um i haven't used this book but if someone is in need of this book at all i am willing to um I would say sell it, but I don't know yet. So I have to take a, I have to think about this book and so to advance myself in the coding. So I haven't done coding. Easy. Okay. Ah, oh, my easy button, you guys. <laughs> that was easy. Awesome. So 
Medical building and coding is very interesting, you guys. Very interesting. So, it's the kind of books you might need when you're going to be doing medical building and coding. And one thing I can say about it is those books are very important because when it comes toward the end of the course and everything, to get your certification and everything, you're going to need that book, those, that book because that's going to help you take your test. It's an open book test. You need it so you can be coding your procedures and everything and so on. And your diagnostics and know your codes very, very well. So that's something I'm working towards the certificate the certification but so let me give you guys a tip medical building and coding is kind of not it's kind of difficult to get in when you a newbie because some clinics want you to have experience and when i say experience they mean they don't they don't, some places don't have the time to teach you how to code or whatever um they don't not teach you how to code but don't have the time to train you because they're probably backed up or whatever they need someone who knows it to catch up with the job title okay because i had an interview um once and they basically was like specific with me they need somebody who have experience already who's get good to go and I didn't have the certificate um, yet and she was like um, you need to get that one done you need to know how to code but I know but I think that if I don't had the uh, if I had the experience she would have took me because she know they don't they were not um, willing to train you had to already know know what to do and everything so basically get to know somebody who's doing coding already make friends, network, talk to them. And through that process, that's the only way you can, I'm not saying that's the only way, but that's the way you can get the job um, in the field of building and coding. And also, uh, also get your foot in just by starting by basic work, like working front desk, because front desk do pick up the phone calls, um, set appointments, and medical builders do the same thing too. Um, we don't set up appointments, but we we do talk to customers. We just don't see them face to face. But some builders and coders do deal with the front too. Some deal with the back. So that kind of helps because if you're in the front, you can also code also if that's part of your job in the front desk. Because some front desk people they do a lot of work in the front. So yeah, get your foot in front desk in the medical field. Um, so at least you can have, you will know when they need people for a specific um, job. You can be a medical assistant. Also, because medical assistant also do building and coding also. So that means if you did building and coding, um, you can apply whatever you learn in your school. And once you apply that, do you, once you find out they have building and coding, hiring you can say hey um, i'm working here already um i have experience with you guys already and um i know how to code very well i'm good with customers already so you're open book to the position so people who do medical assistant kind of take that position can take that position um for the billing because they do bill um it was because I actually went somewhere. I was trying to ask them if they had a position open for building and coding, and I learned that the medical administrator, basically the manager, um, she did the coding herself. So she only a bill a biller. So she doing everything on her own. So I was like, okay. So yeah, because uh, medical administrators can bill do building and coding medical assistants can do billing and coding so if you're a medical assistant you'll basically be answering phone calls you'll be in the front desk and you'll also be in the back with the customer not not in the back but in the middle like helping customers and everything and then also doing the back work too um yeah the lab works and everything you know what i mean but yeah but after that that's all i can say but i don't know 
all I can say just good luck on your journey because everybody have their own destination you because the only thing I know that can be the fastest way to getting the uh, a medical building job is if you're done with your all your courses and it's time for you to do externship you do very very well in your externship and you know that they're hiring take your opportunity do very well in your extern and make sure you get to know everybody very well that give them one attitude and they're employing and they need you need people and hey what that's the only opportunity you can have to get your first job as a medical assistant working there fast okay then a person who's going to take a two-year degree um and don't have their hands-on experience so that's all i can say enjoy this video and if you have any questions answer it put your questions below or message me and I'll get back with you guys later.